Hey there, thanks for tuning in to Duckworks. I'm Chris, and you voted the order in which I should review the March 1st, 2023 LEGO Technic sets, and this was very high up on the list. This is set number 42152, the Firefighter Aircraft, which is not really particularly tied to any sort of license. It is more of an original concept by LEGO, although it kind of looks and resembles real world planes. This is a very bright and gaudy color scheme of the yellow and red, although that is actually kind of realistic. There are a lot of firefighter aircraft that do have this exact color scheme and look just like this, but maybe LEGO's a little bit scared of making something mostly gray after what happened with the Osprey. Now, I'm quite excited to share my thoughts on this, especially for the price, because while the set was provided to me by the LEGO Ambassador Network, all thoughts and opinions expressed in this review are my own, and I really want to investigate, is this worth the $100 price tag? Because, I don't know, we'll have to see in the review. Overall though, I'm quite excited to share my thoughts on this aircraft. Here you can see some of the other LEGO Technic aircraft and vehicles behind me, and they kind of tend to not do a ton of aircraft. They usually just focus on cars and other wheeled vehicles. So it's interesting seeing another Technic aircraft for 2023. I'm very excited to showcase this in the review. And with that, I think it's time we just jump right in to our review of the Firefighter aircraft right here releasing March 1st, 2023. Okay, so here we have the Firefighter Aircraft, set number 42152. It retails for 95 British pounds, 100 US dollars, and 110 euros, placing this at pretty squarely around the $100 mark. This is a very large plane, and I'm gonna admit, I filmed the intro and conclusion of this video before actually building the set, and I will have to say I was kind of blown away by just how big this is. This is really, really big. Let me see if I can get, like, a minifigure for scale here. Like, here is a random minifigure, and you can see just how big this is compared to standard figures. Although, maybe it kind of looks like it could even be minifigure scale. Obviously, this is a Technic set, but I don't know. The cockpit seems like it could fit a minifig. That aside, though, this is a very, very large plane. It is one of the largest ones that Technic has done in general. Of course, they've made massive planes before, but this is a pretty good-sized one. And initially, I was a little bit worried about where the $100 was going, and I can kind of see it now. This is big. And this has a few different functions. So let's start off by taking a look at the main function, the one that everybody probably wants to see. And it's the propellers, so you take your hands here. You push a lever at the bottom and it just spins up. And it just spins like that. It is really satisfying. It is a lot easier to actuate when you actually are holding the plane this way. So you can imagine you're flying forwards and you're holding the plane like this. And then you can kind of just pull the lever down here to make the propeller spin. It is a very simple function. It is a function LEGO has been using for years. They use it for system style, minifigure helicopter type stuff. They basically used it for a lot of the agents and ultra agents helicopters and the Legend of Chima helicopters, but it works. It works really well. It is just a little rack and pinion system that I would say works better than most times that LEGO incorporates this function in sets. Sometimes it's a little janky. Sometimes it doesn't work perfectly. But here, it's actually really good, and it's so satisfying to see just how fast you can actually get these spun up. It's really cool, and I really like it. So that function makes this a thousand times more fun to play with. It's just so much fun. And the other function, super simple, you twist this gear here, and the landing gear very slowly, and I mean very slowly, retracts. You really have to keep twisting it. Like, look how many times I'm twisting this just to make the landing gear go up, there it is. So this is fully enclosed now, so now it can kind of act as a seaplane. I believe this is based on a real-world Canadian aircraft that can also convert into a seaplane. Didn't really see any of the pontoons, but maybe the actual model doesn't have those either. But it's interesting because you can retract that landing gear. This is really large landing gear as well, very tall ones. And then to deploy it, you just spin this out and look how many times I have to keep spinning it. That is the only downside. I wish it was just geared up a little better to make it easier to deploy, but then you just do that and there you go. The final feature is that, well, this is a firefighting aircraft. So of course, of course it has to fight fire. And you can fight fire by pulling a lever down here. So you can see on the underside of the plane, there is a spring-loaded lever here and there's a ton of water in there. So, or I guess water bricks. You pour that out, 
all the bricks come out and it is all in a spring mechanism. So everything is done. It's so satisfying to open and close this because you have kind of a spring piece inside. It snaps shut, snaps open, snaps shut. And it just works like that. It's super simple. It's literally just a door on the back that opens up, but it works just the way you would want it to. And it's very satisfying just opening and closing this. In order to do refills, there is a fill water area. So you can actually open this up here. It's a spot to fill the water. And you just kind of like dump these one by or two by two circular Lego standard rounded bricks in there. And that's the water. And that's pretty much it. Super simple. There's basically no other interior or anything else of the plane itself. Obviously, this is a Technic set, so the focus is on the exterior rather than the interior. There is one other very minor function back here that allows you to control the tilt of this back fin. So you can do that. Not the most exciting feature. It's not something that really is actuated anywhere else except for just doing this, but it's something that exists. That's how that works. And this is the $100 firefighting plane. Now talking a little bit about the aesthetics of this model, I actually like the color scheme for what it is. I know a lot of folks are saying it's really gaudy and really bright, but this is a real world color scheme. Like you can see exactly this color scheme for Canadian firefighting planes and several other ones as well. So it's pretty cool. This is actually realistic. It's one of the most colorful Technic sets we've gotten in a long time, especially at this scale. We usually get more muted colors and grays and blacks and realistic stuff. And well, this is realistic, but it also is very bright. It feels very engaging for kids to be able to play with. The yellow and the red and the black nose just works very well together. However, I will say that to be completely honest, the build was not really that interesting. You see, aside from the function, which you build basically bag one and that's it, the rest of the plane is very rectangular. If you look at it kind of top down, let me just try to get different angles of the plane here. It is just like a long piece of Technic bars and you just have Technic bars going just in a box, like from, from here to here is basically just fully rectangular. And that meant that the build was honestly just not that interesting. I definitely think there are much more interesting Technic builds with shaping and different types of pieces being used. This mostly just felt like, okay, it's time to layer a plate, a plate, a plate, a plate, and then you have them angling a little bit backwards in the back, but not that much. And you also have the introduction of a brand new piece for March 2023, which is this curved piece right here. It is used on the headlights of the brand new Ford GT. So you can see right here, there's that exact piece, except it's done in clear for the Ford GT, and it's done just in plain yellow here, which I think is an interesting piece. To be honest, it feels almost a little bit too smooth. I, I don't really know. I can't quite put my finger on it. It's something that doesn't quite feel like Lego to an extent. I don't really know. Let me know in the comments if you understand what I'm saying about this piece. It's really smooth, obviously it was designed for headlights, and they kind of repurposed it here, and it does fit in with the rest of the system. It fits in with the exact curvature of these other panels, but for some reason, I don't know, just doesn't quite feel like LEGO to me or like LEGO Technic. Maybe it could have used just like one other pin connection down here, I don't know. Just feels a little bit too rounded off. It's an odd complaint to have, I know, and maybe this is just me. It might not be the same for everyone else. People may love this new piece, but it just feels a little bit too smooth to me, especially for the aesthetic they're going for. That's just my opinion, though. Otherwise, though, this build was, again, fairly standard. It was cool building the propeller pieces and... The wings were pretty standard, it was just kind of layering bricks, and yeah, just not the most exciting of builds, but very, very satisfying to actually see in action. I was very happy being able to spin up the propellers, just having that function work so well is easily the best part of the set. It is just so cool seeing those spin up so fast. It is just so cool seeing these spin up so fast. It is just very, very satisfying seeing these spin. So I do really like that. The function is just so much fun to play with and swish around. And then we can get to value. So this is retailing for 100 US dollars. And I know I was very skeptical of the price when it was first announced, when it was first photos started popping up online. I was like, really $100 for that? Feels more like 80. Honestly though, after building it, after having this in my hand, for the volume of stuff you get, this is this is a big plane. It barely fits in my review studio. Like this is this is a big set. $100 feels pretty fair to me. Honestly, it really does. Now, 
I don't know how well that actually came across on the box art. I think the box art made it look a little bit smaller than it actually is. Usually I'm a pretty good judge of telling how big a set is from the pictures, but I was surprised to see just how big this was when I finished it. And after building it, I'm happy with the $100 price tag, but I understand folks who might see the photos and wonder, well, what else is there? And to be completely honest, if you're looking for an interesting building experience, Maybe this one isn't it, because again, you are mostly just doing rectangular builds. Sure, the gear function is cool on the inside, but if you've built any of the other dozens of sets LEGO has done this exact gear function for, it's not going to be that much of a surprise. The other functions are fairly standard for aircraft with the landing gear going through. And yeah, I think there are just more interesting Technic builds that you can get for the price. But if you like what you see, it definitely does feel like it's worth the price. I don't know if this would have been a set I would have bought myself. I mean, it probably would have, let's be real. I, I buy pretty much almost every set, so I probably would have gotten this, but maybe not on day one. I maybe would have waited for a GWP or a discount, and I think that's pretty telling in terms of just my personal interest. I think it looks cool, but maybe just not that interesting of a build. It's super, super boxy and rectangular, and other Technic planes, even if the functions aren't as good, are at least a little bit more sh interestingly shaped, in my opinion. With that though, we've summed up our review of the Firefighter aircraft, and I'm really curious to hear what folks think in the comments. This is the weirdest kind of feeling that I have at the end of a review, where I like it, I like the functions, it feels like it's good value, but maybe it's just not really my thing. Maybe it's just not for me in terms of the build, I just wish it was a little bit more interesting. And they didn't need to make it more interesting, this is a great representation of a great real world aircraft which is also very boxy and looks just like this. This is a well done representation and translation of real planes. I just wish it was more interesting, that's all. All right, and with that, we have summed up our review of the March 1st, 2023 Firefighter aircraft. While it isn't quite as exciting or large as say the Osprey or some of the other Technic aircraft that they've done in the past, it is still a really fun build, and I had a lot of fun putting it together and reviewing it for all of you. Of course, do let me know down in the comments below what do you think of this model? Do you like it? Do you dislike it? Do you think it's worth the price is the big thing. That's the big question I want to ask. And I hope you enjoyed this look at a brand new LEGO 2023 set. Thanks so much for tuning into Duckbricks. Be sure to like and subscribe for even more LEGO news, reviews, discussion, and analyses coming your way very soon. Thank you so much, and bye for now.